Good morning, church. Good morning. It's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Amen. Amen. Good morning, sister teacher. Good morning. It's a wonderful thing to see you this morning. Amen. Uh, church, if you have your Bibles, amen, we're not going to be before you long, praise God. Will you turn with me to Luke, the 22nd chapter? Amen. Amen. And when you have it, let us read, praise God. Amen. Morning, church. I'll be Good morning, sister teacher. I'll be reading to you Luke chapter 22. Yes. The plot against Jesus. The plot against Jesus. Amen. Now the feast of the unleavened bread drew nigh, yes. which is called the Passover. Which is called the Passover. Amen. And the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. For the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill Jesus, but they feared the people. Amen. Then entered Satan into Ju Judas's surname, Issachariot. Uh-huh. Being of the number of the twelve. Being of the number of the twelve. And he went his way and communed with the chief priests and captains how he might betray him unto them. Amen. And they were glad and coven covenanted to give him money. Amen. And they were glad to give him money. Amen. And they covenanted against Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And he promised and sought opportunity to betray him unto them in the absence of the multitude. Amen. Then came the day of unleavened bread. Then came the day of unleavened bread. When the Passover must be killed. When the Passover must be killed. Oh, thank you, God. Hallelujah. And he sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare us the Passover that we may eat. Just a minute. Praise God, saints. Jesus sent the disciples, the apostles, to go prepare the Passover. Amen. And this is one thing that is uh, very essential to our faith, praise God, is Easter. And on this build up to Easter, amen, we start here in Luke, praise God, because it's all about the blood of Jesus that saves us. Amen. amen. Read. And when they said unto him, And when they said unto him, Where wilt thou? That we prepared. Well, wilt thou even prepare the Passover? And he said unto them, Uh huh. Behold, behold. When ye are entered into the city, when you are entered into the city, there shall a man meet you. Uh huh. Bearing a pitcher of water, and he will be bearing a pitcher of water. Evidence. Follow him into the house where he entereth in. Amen. Follow him into the house of where he enter in. Amen. The, the picture of the water, amen, is a symbolization, symbolization of water, symbolizes what? A life. Amen. Let's read. And ye shall say unto the good man of the house. And ye shall say unto the good man of the house. The master saith. The master saith. Saith, saith unto thee. Uh-huh. Where is the guest chamber? Where is the guest chamber? Where I shall eat the Passover. Where I shall eat the Passover. Disciples. Oh, praise God. And he shall show you a large upper room. And he shall show you the upper room. Furnished there, make ready. Uh-huh. And they went and found as he said unto them. And he went and they went and found as he said unto them. And they made ready the Passover. Oh, thank you, God. Hallelujah. And when the hour was come, uh -huh. he sat down and the twelve apostles with him. And he sat down with the twelve apostles. Them, and look what he said. With desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. Amen. And this is one thing, just a minute, sister teacher. Uh, this is one thing Jesus knew that he was going to suffer. Where better of a man than to lay down his life for his friends? Amen. Praise God. And Jesus knew that he was going to die for the world. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. God so loved the world, amen, that he gave his only begotten son. So God had already get, made the decree that he was going to give his son for the world, amen. And this is one thing that Jesus laid down in his life, amen. Read. For I say unto you, For I, say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof. I will not eat any more thereof. Until it be fulfilled. Until it be fulfilled. Uh-huh. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. Take this and divide it among yourself. For I say unto you, uh -huh, listen. I, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine. I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. Until the kingdom of God shall come. And he 
took bread and gave thanks and broke and broke it and gave unto them, saying, Uh huh. This is my body. And this is my body, which is given for you. Which is given for you. Oh. This do in remembrance of me. This do in remembrance of me. Come on. Likewise, also the cup after supper. Likewise, also the cup of the supper. Saying, This cup. Is this cup. In this New Testament in my blood. Which is shed for you. Which is shed for you. Oh, this means this, teacher. Amen. Praise God, saints. Amen. You know, there's one thing about it, about the blood. Oh, thank you, God, for the blood. Amen. I, 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 I want to be so full of the blood. Amen. I want to be so full of the blood of Jesus. Amen. That if a mosquito bite me. Amen. I want him to fly away singing, there's power in the blood of God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That's what I want to be filled with. Oh, thank you, God. Let us read. Mm. Behold. Behold. The hand of him. Oh, the thank you, God. Is with me on the table. Yes. And truly. The betrayer. And truly, the son of man goeth as it was determined. But woe unto that man. But woe unto, unto that man. Who, by whom he is betrayed. Yes. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Amen. Satan had, he, he couldn't understand the blood of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. And, and every time you read about Judas and, and what, how he betrayed Jesus, amen, he betrayed Jesus, but Jesus, even though he knew he was going to be betrayed, amen, he still gave his blood for us. Mm. And they began to inquire yeah. among themselves. Look what they did. Which of them it was that should do this thing? Which of, Lord, which of us shall betray you, God? Amen. But Jesus told them, he that dipped, in the hand, he dipped his hand into the bowl to sop. That is the one that betrays me. Let us read. And there was also a strife among them. Yes. Which of them should be accounted the greatest? The greatest. And he said unto him, uh -huh. The kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them. Amen. And they that exercise authority upon them are yes. called benefactors. Are called benefactors. But ye shall not be so. Amen. You shall not be so. But he that is greatest among you. Yeah, amen. And he that is greatest among you shall be the least. Let him be as the younger. Yes. And he that is chief as he that doth serve. Amen. For whether it is, is greater he that sitteth at meat or he that serveth is not he that sitteth at the meat. Yes. But I am among you. But as I am among you. Yes. As he that serveth. Uh-huh. The he that serveth. Amen. You got to be a servant, church. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. Amen. And I appoint unto you a uh -huh. kingdom. I appoint unto you a kingdom. As my father hath appointed unto me. Yeah. That ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And look what God said. That you should sit at my table. Judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Oh, thank you, God. Hallelujah. Let us read. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you. Amen. That he may sift you as wheat. Just like, just a minute, sister teacher. Let us, let us. Amen, church. Preachers. Teachers. Evangelists. Satan wants to sift us like wheat. Amen. Men of God. Women of God. Amen. We got to stand on our feet. Shoulder to shoulder. Elbow to elbow. Amen. Giving God praise. Amen. So that the devil does not win this race. Let us read. Satan, Satan has, has Simon, Simon. Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. Yeah. But I have prayed for thee. But I have prayed for thee. That thy faith not fail. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus told Simon Peter, he said, I've prayed for you that your faith do not fail. Amen. That's one thing, saints. Amen. Our faith cannot fail. 
We know that Jesus is praying for us, amen, that our faith do not fail, amen, and we give God praise, amen, in season and out of season. Oh, thank you, God. You're so good to us, God. We just want to say thank you. Amen. Amen. Let us read. And when thou art converted. And when you are converted. Strengthen thy brethren. You strengthen your brethren. Just let's stop right there. Amen. One thing about the body of Christ is we like to backbite and talk about each other. And I can and I can tell you, and I know some of the people say, oh no, that's not me. No, that is you. That is you. Amen. If a preacher's up there preaching and you don't like how he's preaching and, and you try to tear him down and you try to say something or you get up at behind him and you say something wrong, amen, you are the one that the Bible's talking about. Amen. Stop tearing each other down. One thing about it, we are on this battlefield. We have not been saved all our life. And if you say, I've been saved all my life, Satan, the Lord rebuke you and you're lying. You have not been saved all your life. Amen. And now that you have gotten saved, amen, you're not no better than anybody else that is not saved, amen. You just was forgiven, amen. It's time for you to do the work now that you have got saved, amen. Because it's only a, uh, the thing about being saved is that it's only a step away from being a sinner. That's one thing about being saved. Amen. You, when, 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 when you took your hand, when you gave your hand to the church and you took that step forward, amen, it's that, just like the Bible says, as you step, take a step backwards when you become a sinner. Amen. And this one thing about it is we do not want to step backwards. We want to go forth in the Lord. Amen. That's one thing that the devil hates. The devil hates that you go forth in the Lord. Amen. There's so many people that have, have, uh, have, have sent uh, emails and have, sent, and have told us, amen, and have told me, oh, preacher, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for the word, preacher, because I, I, I see it in the Bible, amen, and, and I know that I, I have, to, have to teach it, amen, praise God. And that's one thing about it. I had a, had a, a young man tell me that uh, in their church they hadn't, they, they, they went through uh, uh, single scriptures, and then the preacher would preach, amen. And then when he would preach, it would say nothing that the scripture said, amen. And so this is why God tells us to be ready. To understand his word. Amen? Amen? Let's read. Strengthen thy brethren. Strengthen thy brethren. And as he, he, and he said unto him, uh -huh. Lord, I am ready to go with thee, both into prison and to death. And you got to be careful. Because, you know, you, you, people, people sometimes they write, they, their mouth says some things that they don't really mean in their heart. Amen. But see, you, you can't get mad about that because out of their heart, comes an abundance of love for you. So they'll say, I'm right there with you. And some people are. Some people will stand with you to the end. But then there's some people, as soon as it gets hot in that kitchen, they got, they got to go. They got to leave out the kitchen because it's too hot in the kitchen. Amen. And this is why God tells us that we got to know where we're, where we're at. Amen. We, we, you know, we, we're not in this for, uh, to be famous. Amen. Because this is not a famous walk. Amen. We're in this for our, we're running for our lives. Amen. The very life that we live, amen, we are running for our lives. Amen. Praise God. There's, there's, there's all kinds of things going on in the world, amen, and God tells us to get saved so those things go past us. Those things, they will, they will, um, your enemies will come one way and they'll flee ten different ways. Amen. And this is one thing that God tells us to do, that we have to be prepared, God, that, that God has gave his son for us. Amen. And when he gave Jesus for us, that's one thing, church. I'm going to turn it back over to the teacher. That's one thing. When Jesus, when God gave Jesus to us, amen. And when Jesus, even though he knew he was going to go to the cross, and he took up his body, and he took up his blood, Amen. So that we might be saved. Amen. That was more than a heroic act. Amen. This was for a whole livelihood of people to change their lives. Amen. Let's read. Peter said, I am ready to go with thee both into prison and to death. Yes. And he said, I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day before thou that shalt before that thou shalt thrice deny that thou knowest me. Amen. Look at, look at the same person that said, I'll be there with you, Lord, to the end. Jesus told him, 
By the time the cock crowed, you deny me three times. Amen. And this is why we have to be careful, church. Amen. Because that, that walk is a very, 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 very strong walk. Amen. And sometimes you got to walk by yourself. See, some people don't understand. Sometimes you got to walk by yourself. Amen. I, I, that's one thing that I, 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 I stand on. Amen. Me and the sister teacher we was talking about earlier. Praise God. If I got to go by myself, I'll be there. Amen. That's the thing about it is because God just wants one. One willing worker to do the work that God has for us to do. Amen. Amen. Let us read. And he said unto them, uh -huh. I sent you without purse and script and shoes, lacked ye anything? Look, look what God said. And, and they said nothing. Look what God said. He said, when I sent you, you didn't have no money? You didn't need no paper to write on? Amen? You didn't have on no shoes. You had on no sandals. Did I, did I, uh, was you lacking anything? No, Lord, we didn't lack anything. And I ask that question today. Are you lacking anything? What are you lacking? Amen. And if you can answer that question, it should be you lacking if you're saved, you're lacking nothing. But if you're not saved, you're lacking in your life. You're lacking in your job. You're lacking with your children. Amen. I see one thing that people, they get a misunderstanding about their children. If you take God away from your children, your children is going to act like the children of the world. If you instill God into your children, amen, your children, the Bible says you train up your children in the way that they shall go, and they will not depart far from it. Amen. And this is what God has told us to do. We have to teach our children also. Amen? Amen. Let's read. And he said unto them, uh -huh. But now he that hath a purse... Let him take it. Let him take your purse. And likewise his script. Uh huh. And, and he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. Amen. For I say unto you, for I say unto you, that this that is written must yet be accomplished in me. That this must be accomplished in me. Oh, thank and you, God. And he was reckoned among the transgressors, for the things concerning me have an end. Yes. And they said, Lord, behold, there are two swords. And he said unto them, it is enough. Amen. Lord, behold, there are two swords. And the Lord said, that is enough. Amen. Amen. And he came out and went as he was yes. to the Mount of Olives. To the Mount of Olives. And his disciples also followed him. Uh huh. And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into temptation. Into temptation. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast and kneeled down and prayed, mm -hmm. saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Yes, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but uh -huh. thy will be done. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. And there, Amen. there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening yes. him. And being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly. He prayed more earnestly? And his sweat was, as it were, great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Great drops of blood falling on down to the ground. Oh, he my God. Hard. He was praying hard. And when he rose up from the prayer, uh -huh. he was come to his disciples. He was come to his disciples. He found them sleeping. And he found them sleeping. And he said to them, uh -huh. Why sleep thee? Amen. Rise and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. Yes. And may God add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his word. Amen. 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 We have to pray, church, so right. that we fall not into temptation. Amen. You, you, you know, we, 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 sometimes we deal with, the Bible says that we deal not with peoples. 
Amen. But we do. But we are dealing with. Um, Yes, the principalities, amen. And this is one thing about it is that we have to understand what God said, amen? Amen. amen. I encourage you, what's that? We have to pray hard. We have to pray hard, okay. amen. The teacher, the teacher said you got to pray hard. Uh, the, the temptation of the devil is always going to try to come in, amen. You got to stay prayed up, amen. And we stay prayed up, amen? Amen. Amen. Truly it's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord, amen. And we just want to say Thank you, Lord, for the blessing. Amen? Amen. Uh, may the Lord be with you. And may the Lord's blessings be upon you. Amen? From this day to the last day, and to the day that the Lord, if the Lord delays his coming, we'll see y'all next Sunday. Amen. Amen. Pray for us, and we pray for you. Be blessed.